Welcome to the installation video series of the Hybrid Energy Storage System. This series of videos consists of five chapters, preparation, overview, hybrid inverter mounting, electrical wiring connection, Smiles Cloud App operation. Please note that only those who have been properly trained or who demonstrate relevant skills can install and maintain this hybrid inverter under instructions. Now, let's take a look at the tools that we are going to use. Installation tools we will use are electric drill, wire stripper, wire cutter, network cable crimper, ferro crimper, torque wrench, T20 screwdriver, small Phillips screwdriver, small slotted screwdrivers, and 8mm hex wrench. Personal protective equipment includes helmet, gloves, safety shoes, safety goggles, and protective suit. Other materials include AWG grounding cable, 6 AWG grounding cable, 12 AWG DC cable, 4 Zira DC cable, 4 AWG AC cable, 8 AWG AC cable, 14 AWG AC cable, conduit plug, 24 AWG RS485 communication cable, Ethernet cable, RJ45 plug, and communication terminals. Then check if any items from the package are missing. There should be a mounting bracket, a quick installation guide, 6M6 expansion screws and sleeves, an M4 screw, a DTS connecting line, a smart meter with two CTs, a DTS, and a battery temperature sensor. Please note that this installation guide applies to the HYS 11.5 low voltage USG1 model. For the tool preparation for other models, please refer to the user's manual or quick installation guide. Before we start, let's take a look at the ports on the hybrid inverter so that you can better understand the installation process. The top right red button is the DC switch, and the bottom red button the rapid shutdown switch. From left to right, there are 8 PV terminals, communication area, 2 battery terminals, grounding bar, and AC terminals. Now, we are ready to go. Please choose the appropriate installation location according to local regulations and actual installation conditions. Please make sure that the hybrid inverter is installed vertically or is tilted no more than 15 degrees. Leave enough space around the inverter. First, mark the six drilling spots according to the screw holes on the bracket. Drill holes with an electric drill with a drilling depth no less than 60 millimeters. Then plug and secure the anchors in the holes. Fix the bracket with M6 screws. Please make sure that the bracket is firmly secured to the mounting surface. Next, mount the inverter on the bracket carefully. Tighten the M4 screw to secure the bracket and the inverter. Now, we can move on to electrical wiring. First, loosen, but do not remove the six screws of the box cover with T20 screwdriver. Remove the cover, then unscrew the waterproof plugs from the bottom of the inverter and install the wire conduit on the corresponding ports before connecting. Next, we can start the PV cable connection. Prepare PV cables according to relevant local regulations. Insert the PV cable into the terminal. Gently pull the cables backward to ensure that they are firmly connected. Next, we can start the wiring on the PV panel side. First, install the HR SD to C on the frame of the PV module with mounting brackets. Next, connect the output of two adjacent HR SDs together until all devices are connected to each other. Next, Let's start the battery cable connection. First, prepare the battery ground cable and battery cables according to relevant local regulations. Next, use the slotted screwdriver to loosen the screw on the grounding bar, insert the battery ground cable, and tighten the screw. Secondly, use the 8mm hex wrench to unscrew the bolts, insert the battery cables into the terminals, and then tighten the bolts. 
Gently pull the battery cables and battery ground cable backward to ensure that they are firmly connected. Next, we can proceed with the wiring on the battery side. First, connect the ground wire to the GND bar of the battery. Connect the power wires to the positive and negative terminals of the battery, respectively. Being careful not to connect the polarity reversely. Now, start the AC wire. The AC side includes grid connection, generator connection, and EPS connection. Step 1. Grid connection. First, prepare the grid ground cable and grid cables according to relevant local regulations. Then use the slotted screwdriver to loosen the screw on the grounding bar, insert the ground cable, and tighten the screw. Secondly, insert the L1, L2, end lines into the grid terminals. Gently pull the grid cable and grid ground cable backward to ensure that they are firmly connected. Step 2. Generator and EPS connection. Repeat the same process to prepare the generator and EPS ground cable and generator and EPS cables. Then connect them to the corresponding ports of the inverter. Please make sure that all L1, L2, and lines are connected correctly. Now, let's do the communication wiring. There are seven port types in the communication area. A DTS port, two parallel ports, a BMS port, four meter ports, two DI ports, six reserved ports, and two DO ports. Step 1. BMS connection. First, Prepare the cable according to relevant local regulations. Next, pass the cable through the hybrid inverter and insert the Air J45 plug into the BMS port. Next, we can start the communication wiring on the battery side. Pass the communication cable through the RJ45 waterproof terminal, then connect to the inverter communication terminal on the battery. Step 2. Smart meter and current transformer connection. Before connecting the meter to the hybrid inverter, we need to install the meter inside the communication box or distribution box first. Then insert the terminal bars into the corresponding port of the meter. Next, clamp the CT to the L1 and L2 lines. Please check if the CT mounting position is correct. Use the slotted screwdriver to loosen the screws at ports 1, 3, 4, and 6 on the meter and tighten the screws after inserting the CT1-1 and CT1-2 cables into the ports in turn. The white and blue wires of CT1-1 are connected to terminals 1, 3, and the white and blue wires of CT1-2 are connected to terminals 4, 6. Then, connect the meter to the grid. Please prepare the 12 WGAC cable with tin plating, etc. to comply with local regulations. Use the slotted screwdriver to loosen the screws at ports 2, 5, and 10 on the meter, and tighten the screws. After inserting the L1 L2 end lines into the ports, connect the L1 L2 end cables to the grid, and make sure they are correctly connected. Prepare the 24 a WG RS485 communication cable, according to relevant local regulations. Next, connect the processed cable to the corresponding port on the meter. Use the slotted screwdriver to loosen the screws on the A and B ports on the meter, then insert the cables and tighten them. Connect the other end of the cable to the meter port of the hybrid inverter. Press the button down with the slotted screwdriver to insert the other end of the cable to the meter 485A and meter 485B ports and then remove the screwdriver. Next we come to the fifth part, the connection of DTS. Remove the DTS port cover with a small Phillips screwdriver, then insert the DTS into the USB port and tighten the screws. Respectively connect the ends of DTS connecting line to the corresponding ports. Unscrew the swivel nut from the connector. Insert the RJ45 plug into the connector until there is an audible click sound. Then thread the cable of an appropriate length through the connector. Tighten the cable gland. After the wires are firmly and correctly connected, install the wiring box cover with T20 screwdriver. Now, we can power on the system.
Turn on the switches in order, the battery power switch, and the switch between the inverter and the grid. Rotate the DC switch to on if the inverter is connected to the PV strings. Wait for the for green indicators and the surrounding blue circles to light on. Please note that the length of the surrounding blue lights indicates the amount of energy stored in the battery. You can refer to the user manual to learn more about the status of the lights. Once the first communication indicator light of the DTS is on, it means that the DTS is ready for network configuration. First, search HoyMiles in the App Store or the Play Store, or scan the QR code to download the HoyMiles installer app. Open the app and log in with your installer account and password. And then click on Network Config. Select the DTS's wireless network and click Connect. Tap on Network Configuration again and enter the Network Configuration page. Then click on Send to DTU. Tap on Finish to complete the configuration. If you see three solid blue lights on the DTS, it means that DTS connection is successful. Step 1. Associate the grid side meter. Click Toolkit on the O and M page. Then click Meter Location to configure the grid side meter. The serial number can be entered manually or identified through scanning the QR code. Click Finish and you will be automatically returned to the Overview page. Step 2. Configure the grid profile. Click and enter the Grid Profile Config page. Then click Meter Model. Choose Two-Phase Meter and click Save. Step 3. Battery Setting. Click and enter the Inverter Management page, then click Battery Setting to set battery type, BMS protocol, and battery capacity. And click Save. Step 4. Generator Setting. Step 5. Self-Test Function. Click Self-Check to check for potential faults and troubleshooting suggestions. Thanks for your watching.